Hi, I'm Natasha, and welcome to Street Life. Right now, I'm in front of Silver Spot Cinema. Just for seeing the movie, it was my first time visiting. It was a pretty cool experience. I've been to a few dine-in theaters. This is now my third overall, but my first that was not Studio Movie Grill. I thought it was a pretty cool experience. It's down here um, in like the Smyrna area um, at Live at the Battery, where you have various shops. You have the Shuba Stadium where the Atlanta Braves play. There's like a bunch of different shops and things like that, hotels and whatnot nearby. A lot of activities, uh, several like bars and and things like that. You can certainly come for a baseball game, but aside from that, you have several other activities. But here, you have this movie theater where it's like a dining theater. So you come in and not only can you see a movie, but you can order like a full-on meal. So imagine you go to your typical movie theater and most of what you can get is like popcorn, ballpark type food, so like a, a hot dog, maybe some nachos or something like that, candy. But here you can get like a full meal. And while I was here, I actually got a um, grilled chicken sandwich with some french fries. It came with a few sauces on the side. It was really, really good. Didn't get much video because obviously you're in the movies and so, you know, there's not a lot of light and whatnot. But um, the chicken sandwich was very good. Enjoyed the meal, enjoyed the experience. When I arrived, I actually arrived a little bit late. Um, but didn't not late enough to like miss the movie. I just missed like the previews, which I was perfectly fine with. But um, the way that it works at most of these theaters is one of the main differences is that like a lot of other theaters, they have those nice recliner seats. But um, unlike your typical theater and more like your dining theater, they have like a little table so you can order your food. You'll be able to comfortably sit down with it and whatnot instead of trying to balance the food on your lap. Um, the way that it works here is that you have a little QR code on your um, tabletop. But you can also download the app and order food through that. You would just specify what your seat is, or if you also happen to purchase tickets through the app, you would then be able to order food to your seat and they'll know where you're sitting. But um, there's a QR code that you just you know, use to um, place your order, and from there, they're supposed to be able to bring it to you. There was some issues with the, um, with the web ordering, so I tried several times to place my order and kept getting an error message. So unfortunately, I had to leave the theater. And the way that this theater is set up is that it's on multiple floors. I know there's at least two, and my theater was up on the second floor. So I had to leave the second floor to go downstairs to try to get someone. There was only one person at the counter, and she was taking tickets and whatnot. But fortunately, another lady walked up and asked how she could help. And when I told her that I was trying to place an order but was getting an error message on the website, she told me to head on back to my seat because she didn't want me to miss out on any of the movie. And she was send a server along. I stopped by the bathroom and by the time I went back to the theater there was someone waiting there quickly took my order and it was pretty seamless. Um, so while it was a little bit frustrating initially to try to try to place my order in the theater and not having it go through I really appreciated that you know they worked to kind of resolve the issue so the customer service was actually quite good. Um, even when I first got there I was I had already purchased my tickets previously and just needed someone to um, scan my barcode so I could get in. But there wasn't someone at the t at the ticketing kiosk there. There was someone at the counter, but not the kiosk to actually check you in. And the lady at the counter was um, dealing with another customer. But again, someone saw that I needed help, came out from in the back wherever they were, and he went ahead and got the little scanner thing and scanned my ticket and allowed me to go on into the theater. So I really appreciated the customer service that you know when they see you standing around instead of just you know going to going on about their businesses you might experience at some other places that they see that you need help and they come over and they help you and they try to get you into the theater as quickly as possible so all in all i thought it was a pretty positive experience um the food was good the facilities were nice and clean um really nice sleek interior um the seats in the theater now these recliners they're dangerous man because it's like I'm, I'm owing whatever number of times I've been to these kinds of theaters because I always fall asleep. The movie was okay, you know, um, not bad. It was actually, I went to see Cabrini and it was visually stunning, but the story at the same time felt a little bit long and like there wasn't a lot going on. But um, all in all, I'm pretty happy that I had this experience. Um, I would certainly come back again.
and I think like I like these kind of spaces here granted you know I've I don't know what the area was like before they um, built the battery here but I like these kind of spaces where you can come you can spend a day and you find that in different cities that they're kind of developing these um, these kind of spaces where on a weekend I'm always looking for something to do and I like these kinds of places where it's like if I want to have a day out I can go to the movies I can grab something to eat you know I can find some kind of an activity and just hang out for the day and I will say um, now granted the ticket that I got I got it as part of a um, promotion not through silver not through silver spot but rather the um, I think it's like the production company behind the movie um, so I got like a pay it forward ticket where someone else purchased a ticket and donated a ticket and so I got to see the movie for free but in coming out um, I went ahead and I bought food and whatnot while I was there so and even at that I feel like the prices for the food are actually very reasonable if you think of it when you go to a typical movie theater that you can spend 10 bucks on just popcorn right add in a drink and whatever else and you well into twenty dollars for like a single person whereas here you can come you can get a full meal I think um my sandwich uh, just came up to like 15 bucks or something like that you know with with um with taxes so like a really reasonable price if you think of what you might pay for when you go to a regular movie theater if you think of what you might get when you go to like a regular fast food restaurant you can put a little bit more with that and get like a good meal so it's like if you think of it where traditionally you might go out to dinner and a movie you'd either get dinner before or after the movie here you can do both at the same time so you know I'm actually really liking this um, dining theater uh, concept this is the second chain that I've been to and I plan on checking out some of the other ones but I enjoyed this experience and would certainly come back here looking forward to trying out a few others around the city as well and also coming back to see some of the other activities that they have going on I do like boxing and I like football but being down here in Atlanta I generally can't see the Giants but I would certainly, you know, come out, I don't really drink, but I would come out to like one of the bars or something like that if, you know, I could see boxing and get like a good meal or I could see the Giants or something like that. So certainly looking into seeing what other activities they have around, other things that I might be able to get into and, you know, possibly some future videos about me visiting other um, businesses here and checking out other activities and venues. So until next time, take care. Thanks for tuning in. To ensure you don't miss any episodes, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, go ahead and click that thumbs up button if you like what you saw, and go ahead and share it on social media.